Hey guys, Focus Motion here. I'm playing PLO 10 on Ace today. It's actually early in the morning, 9 o'clock. Well, not early in the morning. It's kind of early, I guess, for me. It's 10 in the morning. Uh, I potted out and got men re raised. So um, I'm thinking they have the flesh draw here. And I'm going to go ahead and call. And I'm going to check. I'm still going to go with my read. I really think he had the flesh draw. Uh, he might have 4 7, but I. Do not really believe he does, um, but he wants to go ahead and value bets here. Looks like a value bet, and um, fairly aggressive. Um, no, go ahead and lay it down this time. I, you know, if I paired up, or I think actually was paired up, then I would have, of course. When I had, but uh, I'm out of position here, and you know, if the board breaks off on the river, I don't, I don't know what to do in that spot. I think I, I better have my dash fold. I mean, he showed a lot of interest in that in that hand by re raising. I'm gonna let this one go there. So, yeah, I just sat down. Um, I stacked uh, one Larry at two bucks. I stacked him once, and then uh, the table just filled up right after. So I don't know anyone really, except for he's the only one. Everybody, everybody else is uh, unknown to me, Orlando. So this should be fun. Alright, so I got uh, shooting the, uh, shoot the ace, a pair of threes. And, um, excuse me. Uh. Hmm, it's interesting. If this nine wasn't a club, if this was like maybe a jack or a queen. Uh, I'll play it, but uh, since it's not, it gets one of my outs out, so I'll go ahead and fold it. In terms of flush draw, so. It's a blocker to myself, in a sense. It's a blocker to my hand, so I'll let that go. Uh. But we'll, pay, we'll be paying close attention to what people are calling with out of position. So let's take a look. Let's see. So anybody with a medium rundown hit this board pretty hard. It goes check check. And Z think about it, she checks it. Wow, he makes it like a small bet. It's like either he has aces <laughs> or he has a set and he wants to get stacks in. Looks like. Okay, so I wonder if it's still gonna go check check. Jack nine at the nuts right now, and uh, he folds. So it looks like he just bets small against the. Uh, Against multi, multi-way uh, pot in position. I'll be folding this hand uh, for sure. So yeah, that's just really strange. I'll put a little note on that, I guess. Uh, Pull a ten. Well, pot against multi-way. Three and in position, well, bet small on flop of what was it, eight seven five, I think. Eight seven five, I believe. Rainbow. So it just could mean that he doesn't have anything really. Uh, yeah, this is somewhat connected. Jack 10, 7, 8. There's some big gaps to 9, 8, of course. But um, 
it's relatively connected, um, double suited, I'm going to go ahead and play it. Uh, the more that I think about it, the more that I've noticed, I think Joseph is actually a uh, competent, um, well, I mean, really small sample, but, uh, I mean, not even conclusive, right, only seven hands, but from what he's asking, he sounds like he's pretty um, on top of things, because look, we all limp and then he raises on the button. So, <clears throat> I mean, that could mean a lot of things. It could mean aces, it could mean just, I mean, uh, you know, observant that everybody just limped. And, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna let it go here. Down that forward, it looks okay. I mean, we, we need an eight. And now we would need a heart, but we could be drawn dead to a heart. Um, but, uh, yeah, eight, eight or queen now. And I wouldn't be surprised if he had, like, well, I'm going to say king, but he only had was a seven. Oh, he had a plus. I thought you guys didn't see that. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, king is seven, he had seven. So let's take a look at what he, what he wrote, what he raised with, guys. So we can kind of get a better understanding of this player. Um, that's kind of critical when you don't know a rando. A random. So he raised on the button with just a suited ace. So yeah, I'm thinking that any check that flop. So um, I'm thinking that he just basically wants to take the pot down pre flop. And then on the turn, he bets out like he has a king. So he bets out like scare cards and stuff like that. And, um,. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, good to know. So what I could do is basically just re-raise him on the button when he's on the button because his range is not exactly that strong. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And he doesn't, he checks back when the flop is not hit hard, so um, that's something that you want to consideration. And he leaves. Nice. Uh, <laughs> all those notes. Well, not all those notes, but I mean, yeah, if you see him again, that's cool. Um, no worries. Here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to um, actually call and then do a check raise on the flop. I mean, I, could, I suppose I could, uh, I suppose I could re-raise. It all depends on me if, if there's a lot of people in the, in the hand here, then yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm last to act in terms of completing it, completing the action, so I'm going to go ahead and call. And then, uh, yeah, I'm planning on definitely check-raising here, given a certain texture of the flop. Like maybe if there's a king, and I may not be so inclined, but uh, if it's like a flush draw, straight draw, stuff like that, I'll go ahead and do that. Like it's, it's a kind of bad board for you to even be um, check raising and whatnot. I mean, just imagine if I check raise pre flop and if the flop comes along, I mean, how am I going to continue really? Um, it's just, just too hard. And then he pots out here. Uh, you know, when he pots out, he. He re raises, he raises, he played pot pre flop, and then now he pots out here again for two players. Um, I'm, I'm obviously folding here, but I'm just thinking that what, what he's representing is probably queens, jacks, you know, nut flush draw, etc. You know, with aces suited, no, eight suited, eight suited spades, stuff like that. So I'm gonna fold that out. So, yeah. It wasn't like I was Hollywooding guys here. I'm just basically thinking about what he had, and, and I'm thinking he had something like along those ranges there. So I'm, it's a good fold. I'm not gonna, I'm not too worried about that. I'm pretty happy with my fold. Over here, I have a, a good run down here. Um, it's not suited to the ace, unfortunately. It's suited to the king, but hopefully uh, we'll be able to catch it in this video. I don't know if we can. We're past ten minute mark. 
if we can. If G is not going to time out like that. Uh, Alright guys, I guess not. But I'll post up a replay afterwards.